it's going. All right, so six month ownership of my 2023 Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro in solar octane with the manual transmission. Yes, it is the last year of the third gen. And I've had it for six months. Just wanted to give you a little update how it's been and what I've done to it, things I've bought, approximate price. And yeah, let's, let's get into it. So the first thing I did was email Toyota Canada and complain about the paint quality. Now I'm still waiting to see if they're gonna do anything about the orange peel and the overall thinness of the clear coat and just the, the quality of the paint. I love the color and it looks fantastic from a distance, but as soon as you get up close and you know, like I, I look at every inch of this vehicle and there's, there's spots where it's a little bit thinner than it should be. And yeah, the, the overall quality is not the best. I doubt Toyota's gonna do anything about it, but I'll, uh, I'll update you if they do. Uh, they are gonna fix the one white spec um, on top of the roof, but that's to the dealer and the, uh, the through warranty. And then also through warranty, I had uh, the fender flares removed and re-glued because they were slightly coming off they just didn't use enough adhesive i guess i don't know but they the dealership did that no problem so yeah on to the things i've added i added the oem running boards they're uh, plastic with uh, um, steel underlay that uh, bolt right to the existing holes uh, underneath the, the truck and they, they look fantastic and they really they don't affect my ground clearance at all they're much easier to it's much easier to get in and out of the truck now and all that winter grime and rocks and stuff when I'm on back roads driving in bad weather it doesn't get up on the, the body as much the body which is nice and let's move on to the second thing I've added and that's the PPF so the paint protection film on the full hood pretty much the full fender um, all the the B pillar or A pillar I always forget which what this is called is B pillar um, and then all the way up to the, the sunroof and then a little bit um, back uh, by the, the rear, rear fender there. Basically all the impact zones where there's gonna be rock chips and that kind of stuff. And the, the full like actual front of, of the truck was done. So that's, that's kind of a must, especially in Alberta. So hopefully that'll prevent rock chips happening. What else have I added here? Oh yes, so the tunnel cover, the Bison tunnel cover. And it's just the, the soft roll tunnel cover. It was quite inexpensive, uh, but very good quality for the price. And that's, for now, that's all I kinda need and, and wanted. And I'm, I'm very happy with it. You know, I can, I wanna use my my full axis of the, of the five foot bed. I can just roll that up and it doesn't take up any space. And then if I just wanna, you know, say I could go shopping and, and or put something in the back, I can just put that there and then lock the tailgate and it's, it's uh, pretty secure, right? Keeps the weather out. Um, if I wanna sleep in the back, uh, diagonally, I can just roll that over and you know, I'm out of the elements anyways, wind and rain. I'm surprised how watertight it actually is. And dust. And dust doesn't really get back there. So I'm very, very happy with that. And yeah, I haven't, I've, I've put uh, roughly 3,000, almost 4,000 now kilometers on it. I uh, changed the oil at 2,000. 
because it was the, the first oil change and it, it was free, so why not? Just in case there was any, you know, metal shards, microscopic little pieces of metal from the break-in. And... PPF, paint protection film. Full front, so all of this, all the paint has it on, and the headlights, all of that, full hood, and here. And then half the fender, I don't know if you can see, stops right about there. I wish they would have kept going. But that's what the impact is anyways, it's, it's right here. So it's not bad. Mirrors, full B pillar all the way up until the sunroof. all door handles and then if we come down here all this all this you can see where the dirt's hit it all the way up to here and back and then PPF it's a little strip right here that runs along and then here as well. So a lot of the impact zones, the main spots. Look how she sparkles. You know, it just, it looks so good in the sun. You know, you can really see that metal fleck, that metal fleck in the, in the paint, it really pops. When the sun hits it, especially with the snow, man, it just, it looks great, you know? And it's, uh, you know, it's really easy to find in the parking lot. Even when it's not sunny, it's still, like, super bright, you know? Like, it's, it just pops. That color just pops. No matter where it is, uh, it's easy to find. And, yeah, I'm liking the tunnel cover. I'm glad I got the soft roll tunnel cover. Is looks and, and performs very good. OEM running boards, fantastic. You know, I would like to put a decal on the roof, like the American version, something a little different though. Bear with me a little bit on this video. You know, it's the first video I've kind of like done some editing and you know, tried to make it better. So bear with me folks. It is a little tricky to get in, so the running boards definitely help there. As you can see, the one foot, and then it's so, so cramped, you know. Sounds great. It just starts so nice. It starts strong, you know. It sounds like it's going to start every time. Uh with my wife and we're going to do a few errands now as you know I have a ND Miata that's kind of like my daily and I use that mostly to go back and forth to work and to do errands and everything um, if you are looking to have a Tacoma especially the the pro and the manual um, as your like daily and like one vehicle it's a it's not the best, you know. The Pro is designed for off-roading, so the the front's a little higher, which makes it worse on fuel, and, and they're already pretty bad on fuel, as you probably already know. And then the off-road tires and such. And the manual is great, but it's not it's not great in traffic, you know. It's it's a very old-school manual very long throws, long clutch, 
So yeah, if you run into traffic, it's it's not a, a fun vehicle to be in traffic. And it's quite large. You know, try to park it downtown or in a small parking lot. It's quite large. And when you're just putting around town, like it's it's even worse on fuel. Um, but when I use it for the reason why I bought it is for, you know, long trips, exploring, going off-roading, hunting, um, doing doing all that, then that's where it shines. That, that is definitely you use a vehicle for what it's designed for. It's it's absolutely fantastic. And yeah, so to drive back and forth to work with this, it's just, it's very expensive. And it's, I would just rather drive the Miata, you know? Like it's, Miata's fantastic for a daily commuter. Key plus. Uh, another thing I, I forgot to mention uh, is my winter tires and winter rims. So I, I wanted, uh, one of the TRD off-road rims because I, I like to look at them and I know they're good quality um, and yeah I was able to pick them up secondhand with uh, the Hakapalita studded winter tires so now I have two sets of tires two sets of rims and it's much easier to you know swap for winter and I've been, uh, been real happy with uh, winter tires and even the summer tires when I was doing the off-roading and stuff, they're uh, they're fantastic for for what I need, anyways. I know a lot of people like to upgrade that, but for now, I'm 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 happy with it. And the the Tierty uh, rims, man, they they're, they look fantastic. Yeah, we'll we'll stop for now. Let's talk about whether I regret buying this vehicle and regret just waiting for the fourth gen with you know the turbo and I'd probably buy the so I'd want manual and the only way to get the manual is to and and to have like somewhat of an off-road vehicle um, is the the TRD off-road um, and and I that's the the 2.4 turbo, no hybrid, with the with the manual. The TRD Pro and the and the Trail Hunter, it's there's no manual in that, you know, because it's the hybrid with turbo. And no, I'm, you know, I waited a year for this vehicle, and I am still very happy. I stuck it out, and yeah. It's uh, took me a while to get used to it because I've never, never owned a truck before, and this is definitely a truck. You know, leaf springs, and you can feel it. And yeah, the, the things I, you know, there's, there's no real annoyances that I find with it. Everything is just is good. Everything works like it should. Sounds great. Makes me feel, you know, like I'm driving something special. And yeah, it's it's exactly what I wanted. You know, I've when I went moose hunting, it was wherever I wanted to go, like any little back road or anything I wanted to go down, it did it. And it was like, yes, this is. You know, this is what I, where I belong. Got it covered in mud, covered in blood too, and it was fine. Like I said before, the the biggest gripe is the the paint quality. But it's not just Toyota that's you know, 
has bad paint quality. It's, it's a lot of manufacturers. Ever since, you know, the paint protection film, PPF, came out, and before it was a lead paint in the 70s and 80s, and that was much thicker, much better paint. Nowadays, like, paint on vehicles, it's just not good quality. And you, you're kind of forced into paying that PPF film if you, if you want your paint to not have rock chips all over it. And that's just uh, that's how it is. But yeah, I'm I'm happy this is my main vehicle though, because it would get cumbersome driving this every day. Because it's not the fastest and the most maneuverable, right? Kind of lumbers along, and if you want, now it has power if you if you want it. You know, you just uh, just have to put your pedal pedal down and and let it rev. It loves to rev. But then you're you know you're paying for it at the pump. Uh, I guess another kind of negative I've noticed is the range isn't very good. So I get, you know, like five, five fifty to a tank. Now it is still kind of winter, so maybe that'll be a little bit better. Um but yeah it's a small tank. I think it's 79 liters, 80, 80 liters. And I definitely noticed that. In comparison to uh, my buddy's Ram 1500, I think he has a hundred liter or 120 liter tank, and he gets it's it's a lot of money to, a lot of money to fill, but you can go further. So it's one thing, especially when I'm going to be in the middle of nowhere, you know, trying to look for Sasquatch or hunting or the scouting or just driving the back roads, looking for animals. Um, a lot of times there's, you can drive for miles and miles and there, there's no gas stations. So that's why I, I have a Jerry in the back, 20 liter Jerry. And yeah, it's, it's, it's fine. But everything I've wanted to do with the truck so far, it's done it, no complaints. I have driven it in, you know, like a, a really bad snowstorm in four high with studded tires. It's like a tank, you know, I've never had anything like it. I thought my Honda Element was, was good in the bad weather and the snow, but this thing definitely is fantastic. Yeah, I guess I'll wrap it up. I just wanted to make a, a quick little little video on this. And everything's going well. You know, I haven't had any issues, really. Any, nothing mechanical. You know, it's I, I'm, I'm still learning about the vehicle. Um, little settings here and there. I just uh, I just found out I could change the color of the vehicle um, when it when it comes up on the 360 camera. Before it was white, now it's there was there was no solar octane out, unfortunately, but red is the closest color I can I can get. So that's cool. And yeah, um, yeah, I'll end it here. Have a wonderful day. Peace.